Hello and welcome to your ninth tutorial of astronomy. In this tutorial we're going to cover the moon. So first of all, when we look at the moon, if there's not too many clouds and uh, that we can actually see the moon, then it usually has like either it's round or it's like this shape or it's very thin. Or it can also be the other way around. And um, then I'm going to explain how come this is. So we have the sun here and it has all its beams. And then we have earth out here and then we have the moon. Okay, so now the moon is, uh, I have enlarged it a bit. So here the sunbeams comes and then it lights up half of the moon. And uh, when the moon turns over here, then it lights this half of the moon and this half of the moon. Actually, it's always the same half of the moon is lightening up. This half of the moon and this half of the moon. And this happens in a month. The moon orbits the Earth in one month. And month and moon, the words have the same derivation. Moon and month. So here we can see the same with a bit more technical terms. This thing is called new moon and then uh, some other names and full moon is around here. And actually if you were on the moon, you would then see that the earth has more or less the same appearance. It will also be a, a half earth and full earth and first quarter and whatever the names are. So here's an overview of how it actually looks on our sky. So that means a new moon, you can actually not really see it. And then there's a first quarter moon here. Then it looks like it's a half moon, but it's on the right side. And then there's a full moon, which is obvious. That's uh, yeah, when it's all full. And then here it's on the left side. That's when it is diminishing. And then here it's almost diminished on the left side. You could say then when it's on the left side, like over here, then the moon forms the letter C for contraction. That means it just, when the moon is on the left side, so to speak, then it is getting smaller and smaller. So this is just a little rule of thumb. And otherwise there's another feature about the moon, which is quite odd. I mean, uh, first of all, in the last tutorial, we covered that the moon always faces its same side towards Earth. But there's something interesting about that because the backside of the moon does not at all look like the front side or the side that we are looking at all the time. So first we're gonna look at the front side and the features. Here we have the front side of the moon. This is what you will normally see if you have a very big telescope and if you just uh, have some uh, normal little telescope, then, uh, then you can see, if you have a normal pair of binoculars, then you can see these um, dark places on the moon and they're called seas or mares and uh, they are big, uh, very, they, they are actually made of lava and the theory is that some meteors slam down here and then crack the surface of the moon and then the lava spills out and then the lava gets cold again and then we have these sort of planes with a, with a lava excrement or whatever it's called. But the very odd thing is that on the back side of the moon, there's no such things. Let's have a look. The back side is full of these craters all around. So we have a crater. For example, here is a crater and here and here. Anyway, I don't have to draw that for you, but there's craters all over. 
and it looks very different because there's all not all this lava spilling out making big seas of this so what happened it's kind of strange but we actually do have some very uh, different sides of the moon so the front side has a much uh, thinner crest you could say that we have the moon here and then the side here that is towards earth has a thin crest and then the other side has a very thick crest to the core and the core there's some fluid stuff inside like on earth so that's a, an odd difference and also uh, as we don't have two good pictures of the back moon ah, it's getting better and better but anyway there is uh, a lot of uh, things left for the fantasy on what is on the backside of the moon. Uh, for example, I can show you this picture. Here we have it. And what's that? It looks like roads. It looks like <laughs> there's been some civilization there or somebody has built all these straight lines. And, and this is a picture from the backside of the moon quite close up. And it can even look like there's a, you can see there's a village here. Oh, sorry, that was gray. Just a second. Yeah, here. Okay, so for example, we have a village here. I'm sorry, this uh, the program thinks that it's a black and white picture and then I can only color and black, white, and gray, anyway. So this could be a village, and then there's a road here. And what's that thing? Is that an old crater, or is it a stadium, or what is this? And why these interjections here? It looks very weird. Or is it just from the nature that makes all these straight lines? In anyway, I'll leave that up to your imagination, but there's certainly a, a lot of things that look strange on the backside of the moon. I'm not saying that it's full of aliens, but uh, there's certainly things to discover there. So um, I leave that as an appetizer for exploring more about the backside of the moon. And um, thank you very much for listening, and don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next tutorial.